Hey everybody, this is Jake from Longtail Pro, and today I'm going to give you a quick overview of SEO based specifically for Weebly, uh, the drag and drop website builder. Now, I've been a Weebly user and a pro customer for several years, um, and I've built at least one really successful site that, that's been built on Weebly. It's been on Weebly for years, does really, really well in the search engines. And so I'm just going to give you uh, a couple of tips that hopefully will help you do the same. Um, so the site I'm talking about is ballparksavvy.com. It's the first website I ever did that kind of got me into this and with Longtail Pro and all of that stuff. Um, and it's just as a baseball fan, I simply wrote a fan's guide to every major league stadium, trying to help people save money and things like that. So I've learned a lot from it, um, a lot of trial and error and things along those lines. So what I'm looking at right now in Weebly is if you go from the, the designer, from the editor side, you click on settings, you click on SEO. I think this is a little bit uh, misleading um, from what you'll see. So I put in the site description. You might put in these keywords, these meta keywords, which you don't even really need to do. And you do that and think, oh, my job's done. But the problem is if I go to Google and I Google ballpark, Savvy, my site of course is first for that, and you can see here the the page title, and then the description. So a guide to every major league ballpark, etc. And notice that's not the description I have here. Um, here's the reason for that: when you go to pages, where that information is coming from, it's actually coming from the page that you have set as your home page. And so here's how you can see that and set that up for yourself under Advanced Settings for your home page. This is where you have your page title and your page description or your meta description. Um, so a guide to every major league ballpark, etc. That's what this is pulling from. Okay, and so a lot of people will miss this because it's not, you know, it's when you see advanced settings, you think it's going to be really technical and difficult to do, and it's not. And in fact, it's really important that you set your page title and your page description for pretty much every page that you do, at least you know the ones that you want to rank in the search engines, because as you can see. The Google results, that's what they're looking at first, is that title and description. And so you want to make sure that the keyword you're targeting with a particular page is in your title, it's in your description, you want it to be compelling, and all of those things. Uh, but you definitely don't want to overlook that. And so if you've been doing that, um, that's the first thing that you do. It's super important from an SEO perspective that you're diving into your advanced settings and at least doing these two things on every page that you do. Um, so in addition to that, there, there are a handful of other things that I always do, um, which will really put you in a good position for the search engines. And so to learn more about that, um, I've put together a free PDF with some Weebly SEO tips. I talk more about the importance of knowing the keywords and the things that your audience is searching for and how it all relates. And so I just share some things that have worked for me over the last few years. Um, so click on the link in the corner of the video or down in the description pick up that free PDF, and then if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to let me know. All right, have a great day.